Okay, I'll be 100% honest with you at this point. I'm just doing it mostly to troll you guys. Today, we're wearing the 100% absolutely beat up. Is there even an outsole left on these? I don't think so. Jordan 1 Yin Yangs. These honestly are probably going to fall apart any day now, but we're still freaking wearing them. What is up? We are back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate every single one of you. First off, before we get anywhere, make sure you hit the like button, especially on this video. Let's see if we can hit 1,500 likes. Just a nice little reasonable target. And for you guys asking, the Jordan 1 Dior mystery box, we will be announcing the order number and the name of the person that got these on my Instagram on either Sunday or Monday. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned for my Instagram on Sunday or Monday. That being said, today is a monumentous, today is a giant, today is an incredibly exciting day that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So seriously, uh, I get to do some really awesome things because of YouTube and I'll probably be thanking you guys nonstop. I get to do some really awesome things because of YouTube and then because of the moves I've been able to make outside of YouTube because of the position that YouTube has put me in and I'm incredibly thankful for it. And today is one of those days, today is a super exciting day. I've been keeping this under wraps. Oh, 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 I'm so, you know what, I can't even talk. Let's just go, let's leave, let's go, and then maybe through my excitement I'll be able to sort of maybe possibly explain. Okay, this is my office, you, you guys all know this is my office. Got this last summer and then I had it and then I moved to New York and I still had it while I was in New York and then I came back from New York for a while, we'll be back in New York soon. Don't worry, I'm just getting stuff set up here, as you'll see. I have a place here, place in New York, office here. Um, I do a lot of moving. This office has been absolutely amazing. It's been incredible, it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made. At the time that I got this place, it was a bit of a financial undertaking. I'm like, I don't know if I can do this, it's gonna be a commitment, it might be a little bit of a stretch. And as most times in my life I've found when you take a risk and you take a leap, it's paid off immensely and it's 100% been worth having this place. That being said, I'm someone that always tries to have forward progress and move and get better and bigger and more efficient and do things at a bigger scale if possible. And the opportunity has presented itself sort of almost forced itself upon us. We were just running out of space here and did not have enough space to operate. So over the past couple of months, I've been looking into getting a bigger office space. We found a couple spots we really like. We did a bunch of research, read some leases, and ended up deciding on a place that's about two blocks away from here, which is absolutely gorgeous. It is huge, it is crazy, it is amazing, um, and we just got the keys yesterday. It feels like a real professional, like this is just sort of a, a creative space shared office floor. This is like a legitimate professional office space, like there are multi-million dollar companies. To be fair, if you were to value my company, it's probably a multi-million dollar company, which is pretty crazy that I theoretically own 100% equity in a company that's probably valued at least a couple million. Could I call myself a... I might have to start doing that. You know what? I'm going to talk to my financial advisor and see if I could realistically start calling myself a multi-millionaire. Anyway, point being, this is a real, real, real huge step up and I'm so excited to be moving. I wanted to keep this under wraps. I haven't really talked about it at all, except I wanted to let you guys know today and show you guys because I am so excited. I don't want to make you wait much longer, but I genuinely need to say that the support that you guys give me just throughout the years, some of you guys that have been watching for five years, six years even, and just you guys that joined the channel yesterday, honestly, your support means the world to me. Whether we're doing crazy fun things in New York or whether we're just sort of hanging out here in Winnipeg and not doing the most exciting stuff, I'll be honest with you, uh, you guys that stick with the channel and keep on supporting and keep on making what I do possible, Seriously, it means the world to me that I'm able to, I mean, you guys are gonna see it in like 30 seconds, but the fact that you guys make it possible to have an office like we have now, wow, I cannot wait. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we are moving to the new office. I'm saying goodbye to this place right now. Okay, before I show you guys the office, I would just like to preface the fact that we just moved in yesterday and it is very messy and there's 
almost nothing in here and also it's very messy. That being said, this is the full and comprehensive tour of the brand new Tom Stefania Creative Workspace. So right when you walk in, you have a nice little foyer filled with trash, as I said, we're moving in. Uh, over here, we'll probably put like a bit of a desk here, sort of like a reception area, not that I have a receptionist. And currently this is just stacked up with a bunch of mystery boxes that are going out to you guys. All of you lucky people here and here are getting shoes in your mystery boxes. Congratulations. Oh, by the way, shameless plug. If you guys would like to purchase a mystery box for September, link is in the description. Dylan over here packs every single one of them with love. You pack them with love, right? We have tons of really, really cool pairs of shoes. We have some Jordan 1s that come out this month. We have a couple pairs of Yeezys that come out this month or next month, or I don't even know what month it is anymore, and a uh, hundred other pairs of shoes. Link in the description if you want to pick one up. The August ones are all shipping out this week, and the September ones will ship out in September. Anyway, back to the tour. I'm just warning you, the space is absolutely huge over here. This is basically where we have everything going on right now. We have Ibrahim boxing up boxes. We have Dylan taking his lunch break. This is essentially just going to be the place where we uh, pack up boxes and we have shoes and all the good stuff here. There are so many storage cubbies, which I absolutely loved about this place. Uh, we're gonna have shelving all across this wall for everything we need to work on stuff. And here's Eve folding up t-shirts. We have some boxes. Uh, this is like more boxes than I'll ever need in my life, but bulk discounts are great. We'll probably have like a big table set up over here. I'm not really sure exactly what we're gonna put in this area once we get everything set up, but this is what's happening over here. We have beautiful windows. Aside from not having enough space in our old office, uh, not having windows definitely sucked, especially during summer. You just spend all day inside of an office with fluorescent lighting and you never get any sunshine. So this is amazing. We have huge windows. We also have just a massive, massive amount of space. This place is 2,000 square feet. It's absolutely huge. I honestly don't, we have room for all of the activities. Like, all of the activities. Literally all the activities. In this corner over here, we're probably going to have a filming setup and we're gonna have some studio lights. We're gonna have an infinite white background. We're gonna have all of the stuff we use to produce videos and take pictures and all of that good stuff is going to be in this corner. And now this right here, this is my absolute favorite part of the office. Look at this. It's a completely and very echoey, might I add, little like private corner office. I feel like an important business person now. This is amazing. It has a door and everything. And I, I, I love working with people and I love having Dylan around. Sometimes I just like having my own private space to focus on stuff and to get work done and to just sit back and think and have some time to myself if I wanna just chillax and if I wanna just take a break and read a book or if I wanna think about something or if I wanna edit a video or anything. Sometimes I just like having my own space. So this is going to be my own office and it's going to be amazing. I'm gonna have a beautiful desk. I'm gonna decorate this entire wall for filming. I'm probably gonna decorate this entire wall for filming as well. So it is just going to look absolutely beautiful in here and I'll be able to get all my work done, take all my meetings, take all my phone calls in my office here. And once again, absolutely beautiful windows. On top of having windows, it's actually a pretty nice view. This is uh, the same neighborhood that our other office is in, except uh, now we're on the fourth floor and we have windows and it's a much nicer street in the neighborhood. So the views are actually really good. I mean, check this out. We have the street down here, beautiful street. We have a nice building across the street. We have what little skyline Winnipeg does have poking up over top of the building. And then over there, you can honestly almost see where I live. I live pretty close to the office, but some more buildings down there, some nice trees on the block. It's just a nice sunny block. It's just a nice part of the city. It is a beautiful office. I am honestly incredibly excited to get in here and get fully moved in. It's probably gonna take like a month, if I'm being honest, just being busy with work. It's not like I can just take a week off work to move everything in here. It's definitely gonna be a process. We're gonna get everything figured out eventually, but for the time being, this is what it looks like. Dylan, are you excited for the new office? Dylan has food in his mouth and he's being polite, except I think he's pretty excited for the new office. 